Hello friends, this is Hunter, and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization. Roanoke is absolutely swarming with Frenchmen. It's pretty disgusting when you think about it. And it has to stop, but I just haven't got the muskets and I haven't got the... Um, uh, horses to deal with them. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a hundred tons of muskets right there, that's good. I will take those muskets. Mm, muskets. And, uh, no, I didn't ask for that. Mm, muskets. Good. That's a start. Tools I don't really need. I don't know. Just dump them in there. Coats. Yeah, you can sell coats. I don't care. Coats are worth a fair amount. And we also got some trade goods from the Dutch, so that's something. Alright, Guadalupe needs horses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Guadalupe is gonna get horses now. A lot of horses. Unload those horses anyway. Unload the horses. Must unload horses. So, there are now 419 tons of horses in Guadalupe, which is good because we need 419 tons of horses there. We could use all of them. I think I will. Whoops! Nope, I didn't mean to do that. That was all a big mistake. Alright, well, we still need more horses in Guadalupe. Because there is still a soldier here that does not have horses. And there are not enough horses for another guy there. Well, Lupe's at 62% favor of independence, and that's not much. And we have two guys here at the rum distiller's house, and we don't... This guy produces 10 sugar per turn, which is a fair amount, but we could just upgrade the house and have one guy here. So I'm going to ask this farmer to leave the colony. And then I'm going to have this free colonist here. No, free colonist. Free colonist here move into the town hall. All right. And when we eventually get our university here, I can train some of these guys as elder statesmen. Well, that's good work there. Trade the rum. How much is a hundred rum worth? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Just give us, just give me money. How much is a hundred rum worth? Yeah, that's pr that's actually a fair price for rum. I could probably get more from the Indians, but what do I want to do that for? Skip through all these guys. <sighs> Terrible. Make a dragoon. Enough muskets for these guys. Not enough muskets. Sorry. For some reason, when the artillery is damaged, it doesn't have the minus 75% artillery and open penalty. That's weird. Didn't help him. I already have five artillery in Plymouth, so I don't know what to do. I don't know, it doesn't really make a difference. Oh, come on. Excellent, 8,000 gold. So I've got a criminal, one of these guys, a scout, who's got horses, oh yes, horses, an indentured servant, and a free colonist. So I really can't do anything with these guys, but I can purchase some artillery. Let's sail for the new world. All that junk. French privateer. Oop, yep. French privateer. You know, that guy was probably delivering more stupid Frenchmen. Cronoke is out of lumber. Yeah, I know why. Alright, we're doing pretty good here. Pretty good. 
Pretty good. Arms cut, pretty good. Alright. Boston's 92% right now. Da da da. I want to use Dragoons for once. Yeah, that's right. I've got Dragoons. Theoretically. Trade goods, alright. Two. Hundred trade goods. English frigate damaged. Oh, they captured my... Oh, wow. That... That's ironic. And Guadalupe's got stuff, but not enough stuff. Santo Domingo can't hold any more rum. Go to Santo Domingo. You will go to London. And you will give me my trade goods back. Oh, come on. Oops, I didn't mean to skip that pioneer. Oh, well, I'll just put him at unnecessary risk. So many free colonists. I get it, you're free colonists. Alright already. You're free, you're free. I don't have muskets for you. And I've got a whole bunch of dragoons in Guadalupe. More than I need. What can I do about that? Well... I'll send a bunch of them to Plymouth, is what I can do about that. Fortify there. Fortify there. Fortify there. And fortify there. That's about right. And more free colonists available. Oh, you got a lumberjack. Excellent. So this guy can be a lumberjack, and this guy can be a rum distiller, and this guy's going to train another lumberjack. No tools are available in Santa Domingo. Oh, just, wow, that's, a, that's expensive. That's like a hundred tons of rum right there. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright. Still need our frigate for Santa Domingo. I'm wasting rum there. Build a road. It's built. Alright. Sorry, I don't have muskets. I don't have horses. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here, let's just buy a frigate. Set sail for the new world! Alright. That frigate I can send over here to next to Guadalupe and pick, grab those dragoons, because I really need them. And I'm gonna see if I can wait for horses for this guy. Which I really shouldn't, but I'm going to. Yeah, that's right, French soldiers. Hmm. Yep, Cherokee didn't didn't win that battle. One thousand nine hundred gold for a hundred tons of cigars. That's a lot of cigars. And I will buy artillery. I will buy artillery. That's all the artillery I can afford. I don't know why the, there's such severe inflation with artillery, but there it is. I have an ironworks in Armstrong, so now I can build more artillery. That's what I like building, artillery. Santa Domingo has a newspaper. whoop de doo Back to no production. Oh, I don't need these guys here. Get out of here. Oh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Oops, no, I don't know where you got that idea. One, two, three, four. Alright, the Aztec are enraged again for some reason. I guess they really didn't want to road there. Well, too bad for you. Too bad. Now I'll begin building a long road. From Boston to Guadalupe. A Dragoon should be able to make the trip in maybe two seasons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, two, two, two seasons should be enough for that. I've got some muskets here. don't have enough muskets here. Somewhere in there's an ore miner. No, there he is. Mine ore. This guy can be a dragoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is torture. It's so slow. Can I just buy it? Yeah, but it's expensive. I am cheap. Alright. Tools are ready at Roanoke. Yeah, I don't have an expert gunsmith at Roanoke. I don't. We have another carpenter at Santo Domingo. Yeah, I'm cranking them out now. Can this guy get anything from here? But we can get furs. That's interesting. I can just make coats here. Yeah, good call. Furs. Coats. <laughs> Fair enough. This guy can be a dragoon. Because Santo Domingo just happens to have supplies. Does Guadalupe have the defense it needs? No, I don't think so. One, two, three. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Nope. All right. Exploring the Atlantic. Why not? Santo Domingo has rum. Santo Domingo does not need rum. Load rum out onto frigate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had a privateer, I could do some good work here. And Obscott's actually got some stuff, so I'll make a Dragoon. Heck, I'll make two Dragoons. Might as well. Skip through all these guys. Alright, we've got some new people here, which I really don't need. This seasoned scout is going to be a colonist. He's going to donate his horses to these veteran soldiers who need those dragoons. And I'll load these cigars here. 98 tons of rum? Yeah, I'll load that too. Endangered servant, colonist, soldier without muskets. On and on it goes. All right. Yeah. Finally, a battle goes our way. What was I gonna do with the? Oh, I know. One, two, three, four, five. So, and I was going to bring that frigate over here to collect these dragoons. They can make important contributions, if only they are in the right location. Three. Two, three. Do I have horses in Roanoke? Yeah, I do. 
May as well use him. Alright, and Roanoke needs a lumberjack. There's no lumber being produced here. It's pretty pathetic. Alright, let's look at the colony advisor. One, two, three, four. Uh -huh. Oh, how could you do that to me, France? Fortify that new artillery. And the old artillery can be used to attack this guy. They seem to make about one attack per season. Large quantities of horses stolen. You stole my horses? Large quantities of horses? Did you just steal large quantities of horses from Boston? I can sense an Aztec city is about to get burned. They stole large quantities of horses. Why didn't they just murder some babies? They practically would have accomplished the same thing. They stole large quantities of horses. This is outrageous. These guys are going to get hammered with artillery until their large quantities of horses are returned to me or until they're all dead. Either way, really. All right. Next time on Let's Play Colonization, we trade for more horses and our large quantities of horses over here in this Aztec city are going to be returned to us, or else.